Hey everyone, welcome back to my another tutorial. This is not an After Effects tutorial, but, this tutorial is for the people who want to edit their videos, without using any professional video editing software. Let's get started. For this video, I am going to use a PowerSoft video editor. This is a video editing software, made for the quick work. After starting up the software, you will see this window. Choose your video aspect ratio. I prefer to go for 16 ratio 9, to achieve a widescreen look. Here you can see this interface. This is our project window. And here we have these options to edit our video such as filters, overlays and all. And this is our timeline. And right above the timeline, we have our basic editing tools. Pretty simple stuff. For importing the media, you can choose this option, and then select the file you want to import. Or simply, drag and drop your media files here. and then place your media files into the timeline. You can zoom in, or zoom out your timeline by dragging the mouse cursor from here. Let's import our second clip here. Also, I am placing my music file here on this track. You can trim out your music, and then place it from the beginning. Press space key on your keyboard, to play the video. In case you want to trim out your clip, simply place the video playhead from where you want to split your video, then click on this icon to split the clip. You can keep it, or delete if you want. You can even do some basic color corrections as well, and click here to edit. Here you can do some color adjustments, add some contrast, or adjust the saturation. Click OK to apply it. There are other options here, such as crop, zoom, or even add the mosaic effect, to hide something informative from your clip. Let's trim out this second clip as well. Cool. Let's add some text to it, go to the text tab. And here we have these amazing text options. These are few text openers, which you can use in your videos as the intro. You can play it by double clicking on it. In case you want to use any of them, simply add it to the timeline, I am adding in front of the clips. Cool, let's edit the text of it. You can find the editable text in this text section. Double click on it. And edit it according to your need. Hit OK to save your text. You can do more creative pieces of stuff, for example adding filters. You can find these bunch of option for the filters, you can use them as you like to use with your clip. Select any of them, and then place it onto the timeline. Arrange the starting and the end timing, and you are good to go. Pretty easy, right? Let's see this overlay section. Here we have some easy to use overlays, such as border. Just drag and drop onto the timeline, and adjust the starting position. Cool. We also have these pre-made transitions as well. Double click on any of it, to play it. Place it on the clip, where you want to add it. When it falls in the wind, you, know. you can check this element section as well, they are animated elements, to add some feel into your static images. So no more still images. You can download them, if you would like to use. Let's trim out our song and then export the clip. 
I am using this part only. For exporting, go to export, and then export to video. In this window, select your format, and the resolution. You can go to several different resolutions you want. Change anything you want. And then hit OK. Let's select our destination folder, and keep the name you want. Click export, wait for the progress bar to finish. And now you can have your edited video. You can download this software from their website. This software is for those, who want to do some basic video editing. Its simple user interface increase your workflow. To finish up your videos faster, you can visit the link in the description, for more information. Thanks for watching this video, I will start uploading tutorials regularly from next week.